says this budding rivalry in the XFL week four and a good game in the West Division between Dallas and Houston. The Texas throwdown is what they're calling it. Two good teams in this XFL ready to go. Dunbar can play a little in the slot. He can catch the ball out of the backfield. There you saw him just take a traditional run. Those two running backs, everything goes from there. Yes. Throw, pressure on. Oh, what a catch. How did he do that? Artis Payne has a first down. A one-hander, as you were saying. These guys, I'm telling you, these guys are really, really good players. And they're doing a great job. You see Artis Payne here does a nice job just getting lost, getting lost. They tell the running back, wait for your first offensive lineman to break and get right in behind him. You see him there. Great job. It's great awareness. He's got great feel. He's a natural runner with the ball. Fifth play of the drive. Jones has time firing down the middle. And it's intercepted. Cody Brown has the interception with some blockers. Now to midfield. And Cody Brown, his second interception of the year, and it stops a nice opening drive. And this is what's plagued Dallas all year. They lead in almost every category offensively, but they also lead the league in turnovers. Landry Jones has really struggled the last couple weeks throwing picks. You see Cody Brown, he's right there. They're playing a too high safety. It almost looks to me like Landry Jones expected him to just be a little bit flatter. You see the receiver there, Joshua Crockett, just kind of keep his angle real skinny and high. Cody Brown did a nice job driving on that ball, hit him dead between the two and the five. Those are the plays that Landry Jones has to clean up. Got off to a fast start, and he's going to be lining up against their best player the entire game. Second down. Walker steps away, lofting it deep, going for Lewis. Penalty flat. Lewis looked like he was held as that ball was in the air. Grab him there, KB. It's probably a touchdown. Lewis is over the top. Yeah, it doesn't look like a ton from there, but I'm alive. Uh, Khalil clears the run. Just barely got the playoff. Walker, pressure, throws, incomplete. Heavy pressure coming from Gerald Rivers. So there's, that's Khalil Lewis. That's who you heard June Jones saying if they bring a dog. Which this from 37. Mm, he's got it. And so off the turnover, the big intercept. It's a good third down pick up there by Landry to just kind of get settled in here again. So on first down, blitz coming, quick throw. And it's intercepted again. Dietrich Nichols has it. And another big return. The sixth interception of the year already by Landry Jones and two in this game. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really, you sound like a broken record. We, we kind of talked about it leading up all week to the game, and now it's kind of reared its head. It's just an RPO. He pulls the ball. Not sure if it was the right read. It seemed like Ferguson was pretty well covered, but a ball that gets deflected in the middle of the field nine times out of ten becomes a pick. They blitz to the right, you're protected, but you're not on the left. So if he gets pressure off this side here, he's got to protect himself. They drop out. So it's just great communication between June Jones and his quarterback. Tampa Castillo, he hit from 37 a little while ago. Trying to go two for two, and he does just that. And they end up just grabbing him. And Ready, go ahead. You saw there, pull him to the ground. Third and 15, rough next run of stun. Jones intercepted again. It's Nichols for the second time today. Landry Jones has three interceptions in the first quarter. He came in, we, when, we, when we talked to him, he, he understood it. He knew this was something he needed to address. He thought it was something that would just work its way out. You see him here. Nichols is playing in the slot, and he just comes right underneath that curl route. Landry Jones just doesn't even see him. It's just the zone. They're taking deep drops. Just drop that ball off underneath. Let your runner just let the receiver run with the ball after the catch. You see him the moment it left his hand. He knew that's just a ball you can't throw into that coverage. She's been. First and goal. Walker throws. It is caught for the touchdown. Nick Alley. You hear him 
to say this guy is dangerous. He's in this three-man bunch here. He just crosses face. I mean, he doesn't do anything spectacular there. He really just crosses Don Donatello Brown's face. Great ball. Goes down and secures it. This guy can play running back. This guy played through the first quarter and change. He's really being used in that capacity for this offense. Roughnecks going for three here. Walker going to take off. Is he going to get there? Yes, he is. What a move for three points for the Roughnecks. Wow. There was any way he was getting there when he initially took off. If you're Chris Woods, this renegades defensive coordinator, I'm not sure what else you can do. You got a great coverage on. Everybody's covered. You just don't account for the best athlete on the field being the quarterback. I mean, they got everyone. You see it here from his vantage point. They kind of just drop out. They only rush three. They got eight guys in coverage. And he's got it. I mean, he's just the best athlete on the field. You see T. Gray Scales has a chance to tack him, but he really has no chance. This guy's electric with the ball in his hands, run, pass. This guy's pretty unique. Artist Payne in the backfield, fourth and less than one. I'm giving it to Cameron Artist Payne right here if I'm them. Dunbar comes Dunbar. around on the jet sweep. Dunbar's got a first and more. It's Dunbar with a big play and a fourth down. And boy, did Dallas need it. Dunbar delivers. Team, we'll get back to it. Jones. Rolling his way in the end zone for the touchdown. <laughs> Any means possible, and Dallas is on the board. Right on cue. I got a little nervous when he tried to stretch the ball that it came out. Let's see. The official was pretty fast signaling touchdown. Let's see. Great catch. Look at that body control for a six. For a 6'8 guy, that's not easy. Yeah. Is he yeah. 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 Oh, 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 I think it's a fumble. Receiver was never down by contact. Rolled into the end zone with control uh, for a touchdown. Oh, I gotta see that again. That is ultra close, and I think I'm with you. I think that ball came out inch shy of the goal line. Landry Jones just puts the ball in front of him. It's a walk-in. Let's see here. Joey, Joey. Oh my goodness. I think it's out, KB. Let's see if they review Dallas it. Dallas is going for two right. from the five yard line. Looks like they're going to stick with it. Hurry up. JJ Linda. JJ Linda. JJ Linda. JJ Linda. JJ Linda. I, I guess that one's going to stay, and that was close. Yeah, good yeah. for him, though. Yeah, exactly. And Dallas gets maybe a little break. They'll go for two. Jones has all day. Firing, and he's got the two. Parham standing straight up that time. No worries. We've seen it now twice today. Third down. They get a quick hitter out here. Blake Jackson gets a block up to midfield. So now a fourth down and four. And it feels time on fourth down. And they just don't feel comfortable right now pushing the envelope. Nagel going to call a fair catch and will do it out at the 18. Be a, be a little less one-dimensional where every ball is thrown to Phillips. And knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Well, that's a big play. Frank Alexander, another one of your former teammates, comes up huge, the veteran. Third and eight. Pressure. Jones sets it up to Dunbar. Oh, what a tackle that was by Brown. Point game. Guinness is up and through. Clock stops after every play for Houston. Butler is back in the game at running back. Missed a series or two. Give it to him right at the middle. Huge hole. James Butler. And it's a good start to this drive. Out. He called it, which is just a fade go. And let's just put the ball out there and see if you can run under it. All depends on what coverage they get. Walker. Stands in, sidearm delivery, Holly makes a cut up the field, and Holly should have the first down, depending on the spot. 12 seconds left to go in the half. Houston has one timeout. Three-man rush. Walker over the middle. He's got a completion. You know, it's a fascinating point. And it looks like that Houston's going to set up for a 60-yard field goal by Sergio Castillo. He's got a couple of those today. The wind is with him. At least it appears now looking at the flags on the goalposts. But 60 yards clearly would be an early XFL record. Deron Smith is back to return it if it's way short. Maybe see a little history. 
Castillo. That is going to be well short. Smith's going to try a return. Nothing to lose. Smith makes a man miss. Makes another. Gerard Smith has some blocking. Still going. <laughs> Heck of a return. He made it exciting. He got all the way out to the 45-yard line in the half. And the nose guard. That's probably the easiest play he'll make all day. One day. Ready, go ahead. So it turns into a third and long. Four-man rush. Jones over the middle. Completion, but nowhere near a first is Flynn Nagel. On an angle away from the open side where he's not protected and by himself an extra yard or two to get the ball out of his hand. Long throw coming near sideline, and he's got a catch and a first down. It's Sammy Coates. Out of ground. If he catches this ball, he's probably going to get knocked pretty good. You see him, he just runs what they call a big box fade, an inside fade, but you see 31 kind of do a little flyby. He's a guy the coaches talk about. He kind of leads that secondary. He's kind of the guy that puts everybody in position and really sets the tone. Second down. Walker gets it blocked. Up and it's intercepted. There's your guy, Smith. He almost made it to play before, and he makes it here with his first interception of the year. Well, right on cue, there he is. He's just playing center field. His eyes are in the backfield. He's slow with his, with his drop. And Raheem Malone just runs a square in. Back to back, great plays. You see him here. That's Smith. You see 15 the slot. He's playing safety, and he just drives this. I mean, look, he saw that coming all the way. Didn't even really backpedal too much. Just sat there on his hash. And when he saw Malone come out of his break, he put his foot in the ground, and he drove that ball. Then sputtering in the second half, third and long. Ready, go ahead. Four-man rush. Pressure up the middle. Jones delivers a high ball. It's incomplete. Fits really well with this June Jones system. I just, we never cross paths. Oh, oh. Third down and two. Walker, pressure, standing in and floats one. Oh, what a pass to Holly! Which allows them to be in empty. You see, there's nobody in the backfield other than PJ Walker. 861 is the protection. Oh, oh. Blitz coming on a third and one. Walker going for it all. Well, you heard him say we walk her by in time. You see here, 17, Blake Jackson, he just runs a corner out. He's just going to take a high-angle corner out. He's got great leverage on the defender. P.J. Walker puts the ball out there enough that the safety just doesn't have enough time to come. It's just a really, really simple inside man runs the corner. The other two guys come across the field. I mean, it will go for three again. They converted this earlier and Walker ran it in. Pressure again. Walker gets out of the tackle, looking to run, and this time he's not going to get out of the next tackle. The call is, it just tells everyone, line up and do it again. Here they get a screen, they get some room. Dunbar, good cut. Lance Dunbar inside the 10. Oh, Lance Dunbar making it happen. And a first and goal. Those code words are always right, left, usually sets the protection. Jones firing, Nagel catching, is he in? They say he made the catch, but he's short of the goal line. Was that man. shot? Really close. Uh, either way, second and goal. They're going to come near side. Dunbar, they ran that play earlier, and Dunbar's going to walk on in. Touchdown. You said it, KB. We saw that exact same play earlier in the game on that critical fourth down conversion. We talked about it. They put Lance Dunbar to one side, Cameron Artis Payne, and they use the zone left with the jet sweep action to Dunbar. Jeremiah Johnson was not happy, the corner of the Roughnecks. He thinks he was held, but they didn't call it. Really good answer there by Dallas. Great drive. They found some action with that one play. Three-point try. Jones hangs in, delivers. Dallas all over with 
tremendous pressure, and the Renegades defense gets a hold. Great stop. Heard the call. QB Tampa is a designed run here to the right. And if he doesn't like the numbers, Sacramento was the four receivers into the boundary. You heard June Jones talk about it. He can just alert that and throw it out for a quick screen. He must have liked the box count. Play there. Great stop by Dallas now. Put their put their offense back on the field. Renegades have two punt returners here for the first time today. Short kick again. Nagel says let it bounce. If it goes out of bounds, they get it at the 35. But instead, it was a terrible decision because it ends up down at the 10. Wow. Concept of this mesh Watch drag the concept. They've run it six times in a row. Pretty good. And by the way, it's working. Seven. Jones goes down though. Try to ball. to go with the ball you can just see from this angle the pocket just really collapses on him they don't they run a little te stunt great job there great rush edmund robinson he gets the trifecta he gets the sack the force fumble and the touchdown they're gonna go for two Tipped away at the last scrimmage. I think that was Alexander again. That's his third today. So, big defensive play. Let's go downstairs to Jenny. What's coming? Jones. And the receiver did not turn around. Vedette was blocking. And I think Landry Jones gave him a signal that he didn't see because shortly after the ball hit him in the back of the head, he turned around and Landry Jones kind of. Now they find themselves in third and long. Another blitz coming. Jones in trouble and stays alive momentarily. Now gets rid of it somehow. Artist Payne, though, nowhere to go. Three targets. Walker in trouble and sacked. He had no chance. A safety blitz from Micah Abernathy. Not protected. You see Abernathy right here. They don't have anybody to account for him. Walker tries to put his foot in the ground and escape. He kind of slipped a little bit. But now that's a DB coming at him. We saw earlier in the in the game, you know, making linebackers and such miss. But personnel package, especially on short yard situations. Do they do another jet motion here? Looks like he's killing the play. Nope. Artist Payne powers his way for a first down. Man, that wasn't easy. Here's Dunbar. He's looking in. Does he like it? He's checking. He's going to sneak it and get it. Another great job by Landry. I think he's hurt. Oh, no. oh his knee. Oh, no. That's his knee. Oh, no. Landry Jones suffered a knee injury the first day of practice for the XFL. You see, he's wearing that brace, and he'd been getting back into it. And he even told us the other day, you know, still kind of ticking the rust off. I don't know whether he's going to bring him or not. <sighs> he sees the opening. Let's see what happens. It's his left knee. See Big 91. The Shawed Lions kind of take him up high. It's just in a pile. Yeah. I have a feeling it's coming up right yeah. Yeah, there gosh. it was at the end. Oh, you can only hope, you know, again, he injured it the first day of practice. He'd been out for, what, four to six? From being able to come underneath and undercut the ball. Second down. Nelson stands in, throws. He's got a completion. It's Martino. His first catch of the day results in a first down. On the right of your screen, number 49. Kind of interesting. First time all day. They got a tight end and a three-point stance. Instead, they get it to Nagel, and that play is not going to go anywhere. As a matter of fact, it's picked off. What? Oh, my God. It never hit the ground. Gates has it for Houston.
Anderson. Heartbreaking, but they can't quit. They got a minute 57. Balls on the minus five. That was an incredible play. What a play. This defense, though, they need to come out and rally. Look, he just said you got bump and run on the Z. I think he's throwing the ball right here to his best player and saying, go make a play. Let's see if he does. Looking that way, goes nope. underneath. Malone bumps off a tackle, but he's short of a first down, I think. He's run after it's catch, run, an extra run, effort, run. converted the first down. The Houston Roughnecks in this Texas showdown are going to stay on top. They will remain unbeaten, the league's only unbeaten team, and move to 4-0.